All right, so uh, today we are going to be submitting a review of the Survivor MT um, RC car. Now this is a one tall scale. It's a four by four. Um, it's not fully waterproof. It is splash proof, so don't go soaking this in any lakes or rivers or anything like that. But um, you can actually find it very cheap. I found it, I believe I bought it for around $60 on eBay. Um, I'm pretty excited to see what it's got uh, and see what it can handle. So let's go ahead and do some unboxing and uh, let's see what this thing uh, can do. All right, so we've got it all unboxed. Uh, we've got a truck right here. It's got a nice, uh, you know, flimsy body that you kind of expect. Uh, it feels like these are foam-filled tires. Now the shocks themselves, they don't feel oil-filled, so that's probably something I'm gonna replace. Um, does come stock with two lights built in, they're LEDs. Um, and then we, of course we've got our 2.4 gigahertz radio. Uh, it actually feels decent in your hand, although there is no rubber grip around the steering trim, so I don't know if that matters to any of you, it really doesn't to me. Uh, you got your throttle trim, your steering trim, your on and off designated by a power light. Um, and then if you'd like, you can reverse the controls. Uh, obviously you've got your forward, your brake, and then your reverse. Now, what's nice about this truck is it does actually include two sets of batteries. Now they're only 3.7 volts, so together, um, it equals our 7.4 volt battery. Um, <clears throat> and then they are only 1500 mAh's, so I might see what I can do to find something higher to give it a little bit longer run time. I know they make some on eBay you can find that are around 2500 to I think even 3300 mAh. Uh, I don't know if there's a power increase. They seem to be all 3.7 volts. So I might want to look into that just to see if we can push a little more power through this thing. I'm pretty excited to drive it. Let's go ahead. Let's take off this body and kind of see what we got. I'll give you a closer look here in a second. All right. So we take the shell off. Uh, let's see, we've got our lights wired in right here. It seems to be all plastic with everything but it's nice and durable these seem a little bit flimsy as you can see there's a little bit of flex to them so we might want to think about upgrading the dog bones <laughs> our steering servo um, our ESC it's got a nice little heat shield for the motor um, I have driven this thing it's pretty fun so far Okay, so after driving this thing, here's what I've noticed. Um, the shocks are pretty springy. They are definitely not oil filled, as I mentioned earlier. Um, I might want to think about getting something with a little bit stiffer suspension. Um, it seems like it almost bottoms out pretty easy off a high jump. Now, I did try it in snow, and it seemed a little bit low to where uh, the slushy type of snow it just got stuck. I mean, it sank. 
So there is one more position. I think I'm gonna try and swap these over to give it a little bit more height. In the back here, I might just move those in one. I just wanna give it a little bit more girth and clearance underneath. As you can see, it's really not that tall. I mean, you're talking three fingers, nothing major. Now, I also um, noticed that the steering trim Seems is very responsive, but I don't know if it's proportionally responsive, meaning that uh, as soon as you turn it right, I, it seems to turn right very quickly and very sharp. So keeping this thing straight um, is actually kind of hard or getting it nice turns. And then it seems to almost uh, barrel roll if it catches a nice little curb. So it's, it's, uh, it's definitely like a Ford Bronco, something along those lines that rolls easy, that's for sure. But so far, I, I really do like it. I really do enjoy it, and I'm hoping to see... Uh, or I'm hoping that I can um, repair this thing and then build it up even quicker. Okay, so I've been driving the, the standard Survivor MT for, I don't know, about a week now. I've actually had the time to test it out. And let me say, um, my feedback is that the servo is crap. Uh, it went out on me pretty quickly. But I also put it through some severe tests. I didn't just like drive it around with no issues. I got two pit bull terriers that are chasing this thing around, stomping on it like crazy. Um, so I took it out. Um, I've ordered some new shocks for this thing already because that's one of the things that I wanted to replace. But uh, you can definitely see that my dogs have done some wear and tear on this bitch. It's able to turn to the left very easily, but turning to the right with my remote, it just, it's just nothing. So I've ordered a uh, Metal Gear servo that I'm going to replace with it. I've got some shocks on the way I'm going to replace so I can get rid of these springy shocks and actually give some uh, substance to the vehicle. I'm excited. It's, it's fantastic. It's fun. The range I found out tonight, too, is not that well. Um, with a 2.4 gigahertz remote, I want to say it's got to be, I don't know, maybe 100 yards. Uh, great truck, $60. I would 100% buy it if you are a newbie into the RC game. This is one of the trucks for you.